good morning everyone in the previous videos we illustrated how the immune system works and we learned it together that every microbe elicits a very specific immune response that exactly matches it and in this video let's summarize them if we have an extracellular bacteria that circulate in blood what will happen early neutrophils will meet them and phagocytose them also membrane attack complex of complement system will be stimulated and attack those bacteria then acquired immunity will be stimulated which in this case mainly humoral immunity antibodies will facilitate phagocytosis and killing neutralize the bacteria and their toxins attach to their pili, preventing them from adherence to cells, and activate complement systems through the classical pathway. T helper cells will be activated, mainly T helper 2 cells, and that help antibody production, and also T helper 1 cells have role in activating macrophages and causing local inflammation, as those bacteria commonly cause abscess. Next, what is our body response against intracellular bacteria, like mycobacteria that live in macrophages? Early, natural killer cells are the source of interferon gamma that activate macrophages to be able to kill those bacteria inside it. Then, macrophages secrete interleukin-12 that stimulate T helper 1 response. Also, interferon gamma will promote T helper 1 differentiation. That in turn secretes more interferon gamma. This T helper 1 response is protective, helps killing the bacteria and controls the disease. However, for any reason, if T helper 2 response develops instead of T helper 1 response, this response will be harmful and counterproductive. T helper 2 cells will stimulate antibodies production that are useless and don't have any effect against intracellular bacteria. And an example is the disease leprosy, caused by mycobacterium leprae. If T helper 1 response develops, it will control the disease, resulting in healing, and this case is called the tuberculoid leprosy. However, if T helper 2 response develops, the disease will progress into a diffuse nodule, forming the severe form of the disease, and in this case, it is called the lepromatous leprosy. What about immunity to fungi? It early relies mainly on neutrophils that secrete fungicides, and also macrophages have a role. The acquired response, like intracellular bacteria, T helper 1 response is protective, while T helper 2 response is counterprotective. Lastly, immunity to viruses. The first line of defense is natural killer cells that secrete interferon alpha and interferon beta that activate natural killer cells to kill viral infected cells and make neighboring cells enter into antiviral state and increase MHC class 1 molecules expression on cells. At the acquired immunity level, antibodies attack viruses while passing from one cell to another. They bind to viruses causing neutralization, opsonization and complement activation. Those are immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M functions in sever. Also, immunoglobulin A neutralizes viruses on mucosal surfaces, preventing them from attachment to cells. T cytotoxic cells kill virally infected cells. T helper 1 cells secrete interleukin 2 that activates T cytotoxic cells and the natural killer cells, and interferon gamma that activates natural killer cells. Thank you for watching us.